outstandingly beautiful ancient, medieval and revival churches and monasteries. Century-old basilicas and immortal historical landmarks testify to Bulgaria and Romania's remarkable cultural and religious histories. These two small Orthodox countries lying on either side of the Danube, whose past goes back thousands of years, abound with little-known holy places waiting to be discovered. Our pilgrim tour will start at the Monastery of the Intercession of the Theotokos. Built in a picturesque valley near the Danubian town of Svistov in Bulgaria, the legend goes that the monastery was founded back in the 14th century, where there was once an ancient Thracian settlement. A miraculous icon of the Theotokos and a healing mineral spring attract many Christian believers throughout the year. The healing waters of the spring were used by the Roman legions based in Nove legionary fortress in ancient times. The fortress itself, built on the riverbank back in 45 BC, is believed to be the most fully studied Roman legionary camp in the region. Used as a hiding place by Levski, Rakovsky and other Bulgarian revival fighters who fell for the liberation of the country, burned and rebuilt a number of times, the monastery has kept the memory of Bulgaria's struggle for independence from the Ottoman rule. Our tour will continue with a visit to the most remarkable architectural and historical monument in Svistov, the Church of the Holy Trinity. Built far back in 1876, it is among the finest examples of Bulgarian church architecture. It was designed by the famous architect, builder, sculptor and woodcarver Kolyu Ficetto the master hand behind some emblematic churches, public buildings and bridges from the time of the National Revival. We will now head to Oltenia, a region enclosed between the Danube and the magnificent Carpathian Mountains in the south of Romania. Its biggest city of Craiova boasts impressive buildings which are unique masterpieces of Romanian architecture. A must-see site is the Museum of Oltenia, which tells us a lot about the region's rich and century-old history and the local traditions and customs that have remained unchanged to this day. The museum, housed in the oldest building in the city, Banier House, is home to unique exhibits revealing the cultural wealth of the region. We will take a moment in front of the Cathedral of St. Demetrius, the oldest church in the city, to savour its outstanding beauty. Inside, we will revere the relics of St. Sergius and Bacchus and St. Tatiana of Rome, who sacrificed their lives for the Christian faith. Nearby rises the majestic church of Madonna Dudu. Its name comes from the Romanian word for mulberry. As, back in the 17th century, an icon of the Theotokos was found here, 
hidden in a mulberry tree. A church was built where the tree grew. Designed in the Brankovanesque style after the Wallachian prince Constantine Brakovianu, and known for its exquisite mosaics, the church is a fine example of Romanian architecture. Today, Craiova is a modern city and offers numerous opportunities for recreation and tourism. We will take a stroll in Mihai Viteazu Square, whose singing fountains are a popular meeting place for locals, students and tourists alike. The multiple restaurants offering traditional Romanian food, fast food outlets, pubs and bars in the city cater for all tastes. Our tour will end with a visit to an old Bulgarian monastery. Gradeshnitsa Monastery of St. John of Rila. Built next to a small river in the Danubian Plain. A beautiful church, two-storied chardak houses and tall stone walls with wooden gates will take us back to the time of the Bulgarian revival. Throughout its history, the monastery suffered numerous burnings, plunderings and robberies. And the stories tell of the slaughter of all its monks in one of the attacks. The only survivor moved out to a wooden hut to become a hermit. When the locals found him, they made a path through the forest to visit him and he instructed them in wisdom and inspired their faith in God. The rich Christian heritage of Bulgaria and Romania testify to the extraordinary coexistence of the present and the past in these lands. The visitors and pilgrims to their monasteries and churches are always stunned by their little-known places of worship and retirement, turning them into extraordinary destinations for pilgrim tourism. <laughs>